right over here. <laughs> to whom then will we liken God? Of what likeness will we compare to him? Have you not heard? No, have you not heard? Have you not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundation of the earth? Amen. Is he that sits upon the circle of the earth and it happens there all the red times? That stretches out the heavens as curtains and spreads them out as the first tent to dwell in. <coughs> to whom then will we like his name? Or should I be equal, said the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and behold who have created these things. That bringeth out these things, that bringeth out their host by number. Why says thou O Jacob and speak to Israel? My way is here for the Lord, and my judgment stands over now for my God. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord the creator of the ends of the earth, faint is not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Welcome everyone to our worship service. Praise whether you're worshiping in person or whether you're worshiping on us, uh, Facebook. We're just so glad that you tune in. And what you to know, today is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. 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 Be glad in it. Because God didn't have to wake us up this morning right. and start us on his way. And so we come to make a joyful noise joy unto the rock of our salvation. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. 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 I said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because we have a lot to give God That's praise. Right. Yes. Amen. 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 We're going to be singing Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. And we ask that you would turn to one, page 135. And just join in with us, amen, and sing that song. Amen. Yeah. Well, I, would, I just know it's 132 in some uh, book, and in this book, it's 135. Praise God. Amen. 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 <coughs> Come on and join us. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Thank you. 
and upon me by your generous Amen. 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 This morning I want to speak on this subject. The restoring grace of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. God's restoring grace. Amen. Amen. Have you ever failed God? One of the most common experiences we as Christians share is the reality that we will fall down in our walk mm. with Christ. Yes. No matter how hard we try, no matter how often we fast and pray, no matter how much we read the Bible or attend church services, we will do things that are against the character of God. Amen. Yes, doing these things will help. And yes, we will have forgiveness when we repent. But that's not enough to undo the nagging feeling that we have somehow let God down. Amen. 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 Saying after all that God has done for us through Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who gave his all for us, when we fall down, we feel deflated, amen. amen. When we don't give our all for him, amen, we feel bad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we just want to run and hide from the Lord. And sometimes the devil makes us feel, amen, like a hypocrite for still trying to serve and to worship God. Yeah, preach, man. But praise the Lord, praise saying, God. our God is a God of a new beginning. Amen. Yeah. He's a God of second chance. Mm -hmm. God is in the restoration business. Yeah. Amen. Well, Amen. Restoration is a word that carries so much weight and so many promises. It speaks of a return to a former state, a mending of what was broken, a feeling of what was empty. It's a word that resonates with our human experience because we all have something in our lives that needs restoration. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Now Amen. listen, I have learned in life that relationships change. It does not matter whether it is our relationship with our spouse, relationship with our children, relationship with our co-workers or friends, or even our relationship with God. Because if we want a strong and healthy relationship with God and with others, it has to be maintained. Amen. I'm telling you, relationships take work. Yeah. And they take time. Yes. Okay. In relationship, we're either growing closer to a person or we're getting farther away from them. Amen. Again, this is true in any My relationship, Lord. including our relationship. We are God. Amen. There's a phrase that I like to use when it comes to understanding relationship. And it goes something like this. You can cross the same bridge a thousand times, but it's never the same water underneath that bridge. Well, Amen. What this means is that, we, that it may always be the same relationship, but our relationships are constantly changing. Amen. We never just stand still in life. Mm -hmm. And say, we don't just become a Christian and that's it. My Lord. We're either having our heart grow warmer mm -hmm. every day. Amen. Or it grow colder. Amen. 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 Yeah. We can get closer to a person or we can get further away from them. Mm -hmm. We all have our up days and we have our Amen. Well, Amen. 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 We face temptation. Yeah. Sometimes the te temptation we win. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. we lose. Yeah. But the good news is that God always offers us his restoring grace. Amen. You see, Amen. King David sinned against God when he had his affair with Bathsheba. Mm. Yet we see in our text that when he prayed for forgiveness and restoration, God graciously gave it to him. Later on, we find that God called David the apple of his eye. Amen? Amen. And so, when we blow it, when we walk away, when we stumble, God says that you can come back to me. Yes. Amen. 
so gracious and so forgiving. He's so merciful. But again, we would never take any of these things for granted. Amen. Amen. Or Amen. We might experience some of his other characteristics, yes. such as his wrath, Will. his anger, or his justice. My Amen. Man. Amen. 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 He is truly the one who's brought us into the world. And he can take us out of this world sooner than later. Amen. 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 The second thing is God offers his restoring grace yes. to us because of our because our salvation isn't based on our performance. Amen. Amen. Now most of us have been educated in the school of performance. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. In fact, Shakespeare once said, all the world is a stage, and all the men and women are merely players. And so for the beginning of our lives, we are taught that we must perform properly in order to get what we want. Amen? Amen. 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 There is a direct relationship between how hard we work and how much we reward in the world says. For example, we are told, be good, you'll get a cookie, amen. Well. We are told, clean your room and you'll get your allowance, amen. You are told, practice hard and you will make a varsity team. Or, or study in college and you will get a better job. And on and on the list will tell us what we have to perform and to do, amen. Amen. But the tragedy of this world philosophy is that we become so conditioned by it that we carry it over into our Christian experiences. Mm -hmm. You see, the grace of God that saves us loses its meaning when we're bombarded with the pressure to perform. Because we're not actors, amen? And this pressure often comes packaged in the religious verbiage such as God helps those who help themselves. Now that sounds so holy, so good. But the only problem is, it's not biblical. Because sometimes we just can't help ourselves, amen? amen? We need God to help us, amen? amen. And so there's only one place where you and I can stop performing, and that's in the unconditional love and acceptance of Jesus Christ. The same grace, the same grace, the exact same way that saves us is what sustains us and helps us to grow. That same grace teaches us how to live here and now without performing, amen. You see, the performance lack is as old as religion. But saints, our salvation is based on God's grace, amen. not on our goodness. Yes. Because mm -hmm. we could never, ever be good enough to earn God's forgiveness. Mm -hmm. But God offers his forgiveness to us freely. And the Bible tells us in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, For by grace you have been saved through faith, mm -hmm. and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should think about boasting. Amen? Amen. Again, we can never work our way into heaven. So how do we think we can work our way out of heaven, amen? Mm -hmm. There is no other way to heaven except through the grace of God. Amen. And if we don't get into heaven on the grace of Jesus Christ, we're not going to get there. Amen. And after salvation, God does not reject us as a believer when we have sinned. Because of his restoration grace, amen. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a son. He's a grown man now. Having own children. But I can remember when he was younger. And when it rained, and like most boys, he loved to play in mud cup. Well. In the process, he <laughs> got filthy. And sometimes he might even be covered from mud from head to toe, amen. Amen. Oh, amen. Do you think for once that I stopped loving him because he was dirty? Do you think I stopped loving him because he was filthy? No. There was nothing wrong with him that a little cleaning would not fix. Amen. And that's the same thing with God. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6 and 11, you have been washed and made whole. 
and you have received God's approval in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ <coughs> and in the spirit of our God. Amen. Amen. You see, when a person works an eight hour day or more and receives a day's pay for his time, that's a wage that he's earned. Amen. And when a person competes with an opponent and wins a trophy for his performance, well, that's a prize, amen. Amen. And when a person receives appropriate recognition for his long service or high achievements, that's a reward, I mean, award. But when a person is not capable of earning a wage, can win no prize, deserve no award, Yet receives such a gift anyway. That's a good picture of God, mm. unmerited favor, His grace and His mercy. Amen. Amen. That's what I mean when we talk about the grace of God. Amen. 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 So again, saints, our salvation is not based on our performance. It's not based on how clean we have made ourselves. It is based on the fact that God has washed us, cleaned us up, and he has given us his restoring grace to restore our soul. Amen? Amen. Amen. Third, God offers his restoring grace to us because Jesus has already taken on our punishment. Amen. Amen. And so, if you are a believer in Christ, your sins have been dealt with. God doesn't ignore them. He doesn't hide them. He doesn't sweep them under the rug. He has dealt with it through Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You see, Jesus paid the punishment for our sins. Yeah. And because of this fact, God does not reject us when we sin. Jesus again has taken on the punishment for our sin if we have accepted him as our Lord and our Savior. Amen. 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 In the marvelous judicial system, we have a law called the law of double jeopardy. Now this law says that a person cannot be tried for the same crime twice. That we cannot be convicted again for the same crime twice. And we cannot be punished for that same crime twice. And so likewise, God does not punish us for the same sin twice either. Because 2,000 years ago or more, Jesus stretched out well, his arms on the cross. On the cross. And took the punishment mm -hmm. for everybody. Everybody. He suffered for us all. Amen. He took upon us our conviction. He served our sins. Yeah. And he was punished and died because of our sin. Because the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Yeah. Amen. And so someone had to suffer and die for our sin. Amen. And so Jesus is the one that died for our sin. Amen. Once and for all. Yeah. And as Christians, we never will be judged for our sins again, amen. amen. And so to be clear, Jesus died for all of our sins. The ones that we have committed in the past, the ones we'll commit today, and the ones we will commit in the future. Jesus has taken that punishment for us. And because of this fact, God does not reject us when we sin. He accepts us because our sins have been paid for and we have been forgiven. Amen. 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 You see, Jesus mm -hmm. cried out on the cross, mm -hmm. it is finished. Mm -hmm. Your sins have been paid for. The punishment has been accomplished. It is over. It is done. Mm -hmm. It is finished. Amen. You see, God's restore and grace is upon us, not because of what we have done. But again, it's all because of what Jesus the Christ has 
the free gift of his grace. He cleans us up every time we fall. He picks us up and restores us. Amen. And I just thank God for restoring me over and over Amen. again. Amen. 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 It's not there, Amen. but it is the truth. Amen. Amen. God restores us. But again, there are consequences. Amen. 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 Fourth, God offers his restoring grace to us because Jesus understands our human weakness. Amen. Amen. You see, Jesus is sympathetic and empathetic. He knows our frailties and our faults. He, may, he knows what makes us tick. He understands us through and through. You see, the truth of the matter is that Jesus became human in order that he could sympathize with human beings. And one of the most beautiful truths that we're going to need to learn in this Christian life is that God, through Jesus, understands completely what we are going through. He knows because he lived like us, but he did not see it. Psalms 103, verses 13 and 14 says, Like a father pities his children, so the Lord pities them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame. He remembers that we are dust. Amen. Amen. And so what we need to remember when thinking about our bodies that are made of dust, that we have our failures, we have our faults, and that we are still sinners saved by grace. Amen. Amen. We are not perfect. We make bad decisions and choices, but we often fail. And this is a fact attested to by every human being. Our bodies of dust cannot be perfect, and God is well aware of this truth. We do fail. We fail in our reasoning ability. We fail in our judgment. Yes. We fail in our love. Yes. We make mistakes. We hurt people. Mm -hmm. People hurt us. Amen. We bury our heads in the pillow at night and weep because we have failed others in our sin. Amen. Amen. Yet God knows us. He knows our frame. And he forgives us. He just asks us to come to him and cry out like David. Create back in us a clean heart. Renew, renew, renew that restore, amen, the right spirit within us, amen. You see, again, when Jesus was on this earth, saints, he experienced every temptation known to human beings. And he says to us today, I understand it all. I stood for you, stand. I understand what it likes to be a human being. Because I was a human being in flesh for 33 years. And so we understand our weaknesses, every last one of them. Amen. Amen. He knows what we are going through. And he won't reject us because of our human weaknesses. Instead, he will restore us with his restoring grace. And the Bible is full of stories about committed people who stumbled and sinned. Amen. You see, after the flood, Noah got drunk, amen, and was found naked, amen. Mm -hmm. Abraham lied about Sarah being his wife. Amen. Jacob deceived his father. Amen. And told him amen. To meant for his brother. Amen. amen. Moses lost his temper and wrecked the walk too many times, amen. Oh, amen. It caused him not to enter into the promised land. Amen. And King David, a man like a God's own heart, well. committed adultery and plotted murder, amen. Mm -hmm. And then again, I said, Peter denied Jesus three times and Thomas doubted the resurrection amen. of Amen. Amen. And so he would have done the same thing for Judas betraying him, but Judas chose to take his life rather than to repent. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so when you fall down, choose to repent yeah. and amen. experience amen. power. Amen. 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 Don't just stay away from church. Amen. Don't just stop praying. Mm -hmm. Stop reading 
your bow for amen. Amen. Thank God that we can get back up again, amen. Yes. And he will dust us off, amen, and put money back in our amen. 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 amen, 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 amen. Joy that will down in our souls, amen. Amen. So no doubt, we all can be restored. Yes. And David shouts aloud in verse 12 to restore the joy of his salvation. And so, do you need restoration of your joy? Do you need restoration of your peace? Do you need restoration of your fellowship with God? God restoring grace is sufficient to do what we need him to do in our lives. Amen. And then lastly, God offers his restoring grace Amen to us. Because he doesn't hold on to us. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. Many of us hold a grudge. Amen. Against someone. Amen. We just can't let it go. Amen. 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 But God again is in the forgiving business. As far as the east is from the west, God removes our sins from us. Amen. When God forgives us, he forgives us completely. Yeah. Now, I remember some of my sins, amen? Well. You may remember some of yours, too. Oops. Sometimes, yes, they haunt us, amen? Amen. But when God forgives us, he treats us as if we have never sinned, amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Thank the Lord yeah. that God is not like Hallelujah, hallelujah. There are times again when we will not let things go. But that is not the case with our God. He forgives to the fullest. And that's why David says in Psalm 51 and 1, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out. My transgressions. Amen. 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 He said the forgiveness of God is displayed through Jesus Christ. And even when Jesus was being put to death on an old rugged cross on Calvary, he said, Father, forgive them. Well, for they know not my what they do. And so when we let God down, he forgives us over and over again. That's true that sometimes we don't know exactly what we're doing. Because we don't know the plans of God. But God knows the plans of for us. Amen. Amen. God is in the forgiving business and does. He offers us restoring grace even when we don't deserve it. Amen. 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 I'm getting ready to conclude. Amen. God promises that, that no matter how it comes, when or what forms it takes, saints, or if it's, if it's how or what we expect or not, restoration will come. Just as surely as the sunlight follows the darkness, because God is a God who restores and a God of new beginnings. Amen. And all of his promises are yes and amen. Amen. Yes amen. today. We live in a very dark world. Yes. A world where people killing one another just for looking in that direction. Yes. Mm -hmm. We live in a world where there's wars and terrorism abound, amen, amen. A world where people are enslaved by drugs and abuse and materialism. But God's word tells us that a light will break through the darkness because God is a God who restores. Amen. In times of loss, we can find hope in Jesus' cross. Thank you. I often hear people talk about recovery from a loss. Now, I'm not really a fan of that saying. I personally don't believe that people will ever really recover from major losses. Amen. Amen. It's like Jesus' cross. When Jesus was crucified, he didn't recover from the cross. Crucifixion is not something you bounce back from. When Jesus was crucified, he lost his life. He did not recover from the cross, but he was 
resurrected will. Amen. Amen. In other words, Amen. it took an act of God mm -hmm. to restore life back to Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus did not recover on his own. God had to intervene and restore life back into Jesus. Mm -hmm. Again, I said, we don't recover. We get restored by God's restoring grace. Because when we lose a loved one, we are helpless to bring that person back. Amen. Amen. But hallelujah, it takes an act of God to resurrect the both of us and re reunite us in heaven. Amen. Amen. And so when we go through a divorce, it takes an act of God Amen. to restore us Amen. to a place where we can laugh Amen. and love and have joy again. Amen. 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 And the cross where Jesus died was God's way of restoring us to himself. Amen. Amen. Again, just like we can't recover ourselves from a major loss, we are just as helpless to save ourselves. Amen. So that's why Jesus came and died on the cross yeah. to save us, to rescue us, mm -hmm. to restore us to a place of forgiveness and love. You see, the cross again is God restoring us to himself through his restoring grace. Now, a lot of us enjoy playing computer games as forms of recreation and relaxation, amen. Amen. One such game was Microsoft Flight Simulator. And it was released back in the 1980s. In most versions of that game, you could choose a park plane or Learjet or whatever plane you want. And you can crash into the Empire State Building, or you can crash into the Sears Tower in Chicago, or you can crash into the Space Needle in Seattle. Your plane would just break apart in midair, amen. You could nose dive into Lake Michigan going 500 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. But the greatest thing about that, that flight simulator is that the game always restores you, amen. Mm -hmm. No matter whatever happened, you can restart that game all over again. Amen. amen. Whenever you crash and burn, mm -hmm. fall apart or whatever, the game will put you back together and place you back on that runway Ready for you to take off again. Amen. Well, well, that is the way it is with the Lord. Amen. He is absolutely faithful to forgive yeah. us Amen. and to Amen. restore us. Amen. Because of his grace. Yeah. Thank when we mess up, Thank you. he's Thank faithful you. to help us get back on track. Amen. Hopefully, to make us a little bit wiser yeah. after our failure and bad decisions. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Now let me close with this story to depict the beauty of God's restoring grace. You know, I was once pulled over for going a bit over the speed limit. Well. <laughs> the officer approached my car, asked for my driver's license and registration. They made sure was God. I can't remember. He then went back to his car and radioed in my information. And when he came back, he gave me a ticket. Now, that was not demonstrating grace. I got the penalty for my crime. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, on the other hand, if he had shown me some grace, it may have looked something like this. After he got all my information, called it in, he comes back to me. Reminds me of my crime or speeding and telling me to slow down, amen. He writes out the ticket with the fine being at the full amount. Then he hands it to me. But then he reaches out and takes the ticket back. He signs his own name in the guilty as charge slot. And then he turns that ticket in with his name on it. And then he pays the full amount of the fine. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah.
God. Yes. Paid the penalty with his own death. That's what Jesus restored grace for us. So are you here today? Yeah. Amen. And what has been preached got you thinking about your own life? Well, Do you need healing? Yes. Have you lost hope? Mm -hmm. Is your home a mess? Are you hungry, broken, disgusted? Well, God is saying that he is in the restoration uh -huh. building. No matter yeah. what you are dealing with, his grace is sufficient and his grace is available to Jesus Christ. His amazing grace is able to mend what's broken. Yes. His amazing grace is able to apply what is lacking. His amazing grace is able to heal what is sick. His amazing grace is able to deliver what's bound. Yeah. His amazing grace is able to restore what's lost, yeah. to turn around somebody's life, to save the lost, to bring light into a dark situation. Yeah. Yeah. God has sent his Holy Spirit to, to invade and possess our soul and give us peace and joy that the world can give to us. Amen. Yeah. God has come today when all oppression and evil will cease. And God has promised to be a God who restores our physical, our spiritual, and even our emotional strength in this life or the next. God is in the restoration. Amen. God has restoring grace. Amen. Praise the Lord. What he do it?
If you don't know Jesus, if you never received Jesus, receive Jesus today. Open up your heart. Yeah. Invite him in. Yeah. Tell him, I fall. Mm -hmm. I, I need you. I need you to come in and save me. I can't do it on my own. I need you to save me. Because there's nothing too hard for you. Yes, I made some big mistakes. But those mistakes don't stop me from coming to you. Amen. Amen. I'm putting on the blood of Jesus. Because the blood of Jesus is what will wash me by this blood. Anyone today want to make a decision for Jesus Christ? We ask you to come, or even just post it on Facebook, amen, that you will accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Come, he has come. Let him set you free today. Because on the sun says, love is free indeed. Love on me.
He decided to stay on that cross yeah. and to die for you and I. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, so at this time, I'm going to ask the deacon board to come forth and read our communion scripture. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And after that, I'm going to ask the deacon why he has Mike to just go ahead and pray over our elements. Amen. And pray before our communion. Pray for the people of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Our scripture will be coming from uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And I'm going to start at the 23rd verse and read throughout its entirety. Ain't God good? All the All time. All the time. All the time. I was listening to that song. God was smiling on me. Mm, yeah. And it was sinking down into my soul. Yeah. And it just made me feel so good inside. Yeah. And I was thinking about what Pastor was preaching about, about restoration, Jesus' restoration. My Lord. And I was my Lord. Yeah. Yeah. me. Yeah, man. Oh, God. Yeah. 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 Lord, me. Yeah. Yeah. God was smiling on me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I felt like you were some praise right now. Yeah. 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 No, he has rescued me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's somebody that want to be rescued. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. and you think you're not worthy. Yeah. And you may not be, but if God want to use you, he's going to come get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to from my experience, you can run. <laughs> but you can't hide. My man, all right now. Because he's going to keep on coming at you. Yeah. And if he want to use you, yeah. you better just go on here and surrender. Lord, Lord. Yeah. That was going to be a good one. That was a good one. Well. Chapter 11, 23rd verse. And it goes like this, you guys. For I have received of the Lord that which also I have delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This is the cup. This, is, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me also. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till it come. Yeah. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy, eateth and drinketh damnation unto himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Amen. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, yes. that we should not be condemned with the world. Amen. Wherefore, my brethren, when we come together to eat, carry one for another. And if any man is hungry, let him be at home, that we come not together under condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. Dear Father, merciful God, Lord of this universe, the creator and sustainer of all life, we thank you, O oh God, for all that you have done in our lives, O oh God. And Father, we come together right now to recognize what you have done, O God. How you have given up your life. How you have given up your body. How you have given up your blood. How you paid a price that you didn't have to pay for a debt that you didn't know. You did it for us, O God. And on this day, Lord, God, we want to recognize you yes. as our Lord and our Savior, Lord God. Remembering the pain. Remembering how they bruised your body. How they broke every law imaginable. 
just to bring you to the cross. Mm -hmm. To make a public spectacle out of you. Why? Because they were terrified. Afraid. And then they believed when they saw how you came on the cross. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, that any, if there's anybody today, Lord God, that does not have a right spirit, that was at all with their brother or sister, that is not even a belief, that when they would come to believe in Jesus Christ, that they would come to believe in your son, the one who has sacrificed it all, and paid such a price. We love you, oh God. Yes, Lord. We adore you, my Father. Mm -hmm. We adore you, Jesus, mm -hmm. for all that you have done. Not because of what you did, but because who you are. Yes. Because you have loved us before yes. we could even yes. love ourselves. You've given us purpose. Mm -hmm. You've given us hope. Yes. And you've given us something to look forward to. Yes, Lord. So we thank you, oh Father. Thank you, thank you Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. My Lord. And I say, Father, we give you all glory, honor, and praise today. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Have everyone who served, have a stand. You can stand. You can't stand. This bread. Those are small in appearance. But when we think about what this bread represents, Jesus Christ, body, stretched wide, hung up high on the cross, taking many stripes for us, bruised. Even people called him all kinds of names, mocked him. He stayed up on this cross. His body did come off the cross. Let us eat. And then we look at this cup, which contains great things for us. But the cup that Jesus held, he had his own blood. And so if we think about the blood of Jesus, when we look at this juice in this cup. Yeah. And this juice, this blood of Jesus, rather, represents healing, deliverance, yeah. salvation, yes. forgiveness, yes. wholeness. Yes. Let us drink and maybe we become whole. Amen. Amen. Amen.
action on God to heal bodies right now. We pray, God, that you just make some way for somebody. We pray, God, that you would just uplift somebody's countenance right now. Mm -hmm. We pray, God, that you would fight somebody's battle right now. Mm -hmm. We're praying, God, that you will stand in as a judge and a lawyer for somebody who has a court of appeal. Yeah, yeah. We are praying, God, that you just, Lord God, that meets every need in somebody's life right now, God. Mm -hmm. You know that need, Lord God. Lord God, somebody's body is back with cancer. Somebody's body is back with pain, God. Mm -hmm. Somebody's body, Lord God, experiences headaches, Lord God. Body aches, the back is hurting, Lord God. The hip mm -hmm. is hurting. The head is hurting, Lord God. Feet and ankles, knees. All kinds of aches in the bodies, Lord God. Some are experiencing colds, Lord God. Shields, Lord God. Some are experiencing this and that, Lord God. High blood pressure, God. No blood pressure. Some are experiencing, Lord God, kidney failure, Lord God. We got the weak, Lord God. They hooked up to a dialysis machine, Lord God. Some, Lord God, we got the weak of hooked up to a machine to see chemo, chemo or radiation, God. Some, Lord God, day by day are popping pills for this or that, Lord God. But, Lord God, you are the great physician, God. And, Lord God, we just lean in on your healing, Lord yes. God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. We're praying for traveling grace and mercy, God. We're lifting up the military, Lord God. We're lifting up, Lord God, and our political leaders, Lord God. We're lifting up our spiritual leaders, Lord God. We're lifting up our educational leaders. We lifting up parents, Lord God. Lord God. We lifting up, Lord God, all the people today, Lord God. Because, Lord God, we all need you for this or we need you for that, Lord God. Yeah. And, Lord God, you are indeed a present help in the time of trouble, Lord God. Lord God, you know the plans that you have for us, Lord God. Yes. Lord God, you know the future you have for us, Lord God. You know our mm -hmm. beginning and you know our ending. Yeah. You know our downside yeah. and you know our yeah. uprising. Yeah. You know our thoughts from afar mm -hmm. off, Lord God. And so, Lord God, mm -hmm. we ask you, Lord God, to move on your children's behalf, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the first miracle that you gave us, Lord God, which was the gift of the day, Lord God. Yeah. And as we walk through this day, Lord God, go through yeah. this day, Lord God. Lord God, let us still continue to give you some thanks and praise, Lord God, yeah. for your keeping power, Lord God. We pray for our children, Lord God. Some are young and some are old, Lord God. But we are praying for them all, Lord God, that you will keep them, Lord God. Protect them from the wives of the enemy, Lord God. That you will lead and guide them on that straight and that narrow path, Lord God. Keep yeah. them focused, Lord God. Yeah. Yeah. Lord God, keep them marching forward, Lord God, and not going backwards, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Lord God, keep them, Lord God, doing what's right and not wrong, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord yeah. God. And then, Lord God, we pray over our homes, Lord God. And pray over our automobiles, Lord God. Just like our bodies, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Lord God, break down, Lord God. Yeah. Things in our homes break down, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Things on our jobs break down. Things mm -hmm. in our cars break down, Lord God. But Lord God, you the master plumber. You the yeah. master mechanic. Yeah. Lord God. Yeah. You the master yeah. fixer, Lord God. Yeah. And so we ask you to fix it right now in the name yeah. of yeah. Jesus, Lord God. Yeah. Someone is struggling to pay the, the children's bills, Lord God. Yeah. Someone is struggling to pay the medical bills, Lord God. But Lord God, you the great financial, Lord God. Lord God, so we pray that you will open up the windows and pour them out a yes. blessing, Lord God. Send somebody to bless them, Lord God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Amen. And we thank you again for being that way maker, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the divine favor, Lord God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that we are overcomers, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that we can do all things through Christ Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, we can't do nothing on our own, Lord God. But Lord God, those things that you will help us to do, Lord God, we can do, Lord God. We might not know what God can learn, Lord God, as fast as we want to, Lord God, Lord God. But we still can do some things through you, Lord God. Yes, you will yes. us to do, Lord Thank God. Because Lord Thank God, because we just lean in on your strength, Lord God. Yes. Lean in on your power, Lord God. Because mm -hmm. you are the all-powerful one, Lord God. Mm -hmm. And so, Lord God, for those who have doctor's appointments, Lord God. Yeah. Those who have upcoming surgical procedures, Lord God. We pray for your divine healing, Lord God. Yes. We pray, God, that the praise reports, Lord God. So again, Lord God, we just thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in the lives thank of your you. people, Lord God. And we pray, God, for those who are taking care of other people, Lord God. And we pray that none of us get weary and well doing, Lord God. Yeah. But some of us are saying, how long, how long, Lord God, must I go through? How long, how long before my change comes, Lord God? But Lord God, we pray that the 
continue to hold on yeah. to your unchanging yeah, yeah, yeah. pain yeah. and continue to the years of which comes to that help, mm -hmm. Lord God. Because all of that help comes from you, Lord God. And Lord God, we thank you for the offerings and the tithes and the people we're bringing, Lord God. We thank you for your giving, Lord God. And we pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.